Alright guys, we're doing a little part two review here of the Nebo Leo flashlight part number 6657. As you can see, we are in a nice dark crawl space and you can't really see very much, but we turn on the light and man, we are lit up. This thing is pretty bright. Um, we're in an encapsulated crawl space here and you know it's lighting the whole thing up over to the walls. Now the main COB light is not really meant to be a spotlight at a distance. You know this is meant for a close-up work light and as you can see it's lighting up everything very well. If I'm having to work on any of this stuff right here I'm going to be able to see exactly what I'm doing, all the joints in my pipe, my condensate pump, drain line, everything here. We'll show you the magnet. Holds pretty good. That's on the door of the furnace. Just sticks right on there. And the cool thing about this light, it does have the ability to angle so it goes from just a regular light like that and you can angle it up or down however you want it so I can go from having that light pointing straight down illuminating there or I can turn it out and blind everybody here uh, so you can see you got a lot of options with the light as far as where you're going to put the actual light you're working with. Um, you've got so many different variations that you're always going to be able to put the light where you need it. Now the other nice thing about this flashlight is we go from that light, if we push the button again within 8 seconds of turning it on, now I've got her unfolded and we are using the spotlight LED at the tip of the flashlight and then you do get a fairly nice spot beam at a distance. Now it's not going to get out there to a great distance but within I would say you know 10-15 feet you've got a really nice spot. So right there is looking back through the back of my crawl space and you can see what a good job that light is doing. So that's a neat feature using the spotlight right in the very tip. And then you also have your stored memory in this flashlight and there's a setup procedure that's on the box and you just follow those instructions you basically press and hold the on button for a few seconds that puts you in your memory mode and then you can dim the flashlight down to the dimness that you want and it will actually store that in the memory and then to go straight to that and bypass the the full brightness mode you're gonna press the power button twice rapidly very quickly you know so just we'll press it one two and now we're on in a little bit dimmer light. And you know, the phone is showing up those crazy little wavelengths, but I don't see that. You're only seeing that on the phone. Uh, so anyway, you can store your dimness in there and it will actually go down dimmer than this, but I just chose to set it about halfway because a lot of times you don't really need that full brightness and 200 lumens. Uh, so, you know, you're going to wear your batteries down faster that way, of course. So, I just set a little dimmer mode here so I can turn it on to that by pressing that button twice. So, that's a pretty cool feature on the flashlight. Uh, but, definitely a good light. Uh, haven't had any trouble with it so far. Definitely bright. Magnet works good. You've got a lot of different angling possibilities to point that light right where you need it. 
and as you can see it's lighting up my work area pretty good so if you want to look into this light it is the Nebo Leo number 6657 thanks for watching you guys